Don't fall for the oldest trick in your buyer's playbook, the flinch. You know the flinch. When you, somebody asks you for your price and you give it to them and they go, oh my God, I would never spend that kind of money. You better sharpen your pencil, young lady. When you go back and you sharpen your pencil and you lower your price, you know what you just taught your prospect? They were right and they need to beat you up every single time. Here's a better way to handle it. There's two ways actually. One is when somebody says, oh my God, that's too expensive. Say, hmm, sounds like it's over. And then shut up. See what they say. You might hear, well, I had to ask. And you know it's just a game to them. The other way you can respond, if you know it's somebody who's going to try and beat you up on price, is say, I can do this one of two ways. Number one, I can give you a high price we can negotiate from, or I can give you the real price. We'll end up in the same place either way. Which would you prefer? Of which they'll always say the real price. And then you say, my biggest fear is you're going to say the real price. And then you're going to think that's where we start negotiating. If that's going to happen, can we talk about it now? I'm Walker McKay with the No BS Sales School. You're already good. Let's be better.